Hi everyone, it's Mochi Stitchers. I'm Charlene. And I'm Morgan. We are coming to you on the, what is today? The 25th. 25th. Happy Thanksgiving, if you celebrate here in the United States. If not, hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, how long has it been? Six weeks? Yeah, it's here. It's been, no, that was from August. Right here. No, that's from August. I don't know if we made ourselves a list for the last one. No? I know it was in October. It's been so a while. Now, yeah, I think it's, it's been, been over a month. Weeks. Yeah. Anyway, somebody is home on break. But she came home for turkey, and we decided instead of doing turkey, we're going to grill T-bones. Because we have not had any weather to speak of except for... Some flurries last night. And our deck is actually white today. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Very nice. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Anyway, so, um, a few things to tell you about. Um, do we want to do our finishes first? We can do our finishes first, yeah. Okay, so I have several finishes, but I'm going to put them in with my whips because the majority of what I've been working on lately has been quilts. Mm -hmm. um, she'll put the pictures in at the end. I am doing um, a fundraising quilt for, um, so since we saw you last, so before we saw you, before we did our video, um, I, we had told you that um, we had lost one of our assistant coaches. Um, sadly, at the end of October, we lost one of our moms. She was our um, 2025 rep, basically the freshman class rep, and she was also in charge of taking care of our concessions. Um, and we lost her on the 30th of October. She was just a few days short of turning 49. So, and she and I had gotten to be really good friends. So, October officially sucked. Um, it's been hard going on. So, one of the quilts that you'll see at the end. The beginning, wherever. Yeah, I put everything at the end. The guru here <coughs> puts them in. Um, the log cabin one, um, that is going to be raffled off at our banquet in two weeks. Two weeks? Week and a half? Anyway, in December. For a fundraiser for her. Or, well, for her son. Um, because she was the only surviving parent that he had. And... Um, then the other quilts that she's showing you pictures of are quilts that I'm giving for gifts to some of the moms that helped out with team dinners for the season. So, after two weeks from now, we will be officially done with football for the year and can regroup and decompress and get back on track. So when May rolls around, when summer camps open back up, we'll be back on track. Hopefully. So... It was a rough season. We did make it to the state playoffs. We did. Um, unfortunately, we lost in the first round, but we made it that far. It's better than nothing. Yeah, exactly. So, I can't remember what we finished the season at. I think it was like nine and three, or no, eight and three. I can't remember. I can't remember what it was, but anyway. Good, glad the season is over. <laughs> so, um, that's a quick update of where we've been and why we've been so busy. <laughs> One of the many reasons. She's been doing schoolwork. <laughs> Trying to do schoolwork. <laughs> She's been busy. Very so. busy. Anyway, so why don't you go ahead and show your... Um, do we want to do... Go ahead and show your your finishes, and then we'll jump to our whips. We can do that, yeah. Okay. So, this is your dog friend. Hmm. I don't know where Poe went. How did I get chocolate on this? I don't know. Probably because I mailed it to you. I'm going to clean the back of that off. So, um, I always need chocolate when I work on these. Don't look at me. I also came from my desk. Okay, anyway. So, I bought this right before I left in August, and I took it with me. So crazy. And I decided to start it, and I finished it fairly quickly. So, she was always texting me. <laughs> it was cool. It's, my diamond paintings have turned to, because, I mean... I'm busy 40 hours of my week between school and work. It's become definitely one of my quick go-tos in between everything else going on. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. All right, and then you made some pretties. I did make some pretties. So, I'm missing one, I feel like. Yeah. So 
lose my mind. So I made, so these were bought over fall break, but I didn't take the time to make them. So these are just some footballs for mom. I'll have them for the banquet. Yes, and then she'll have them for the next two seasons. Yes. Awesome. And then this. Ah, this so cute. Yes. <clears throat> I have a frog in my throat. I'm a frog. At uh, least it's not in your stitching. <laughs> There's a story behind the frog and I. So this is just a little Queen of Hearts uh, heart that I got from Hobby Lobby. Oh, somebody's talking about me. Uh-oh. Um, so there's that one, and then I have this really so pretty, pretty key, which I love keys, so. It's a family thing to get you. Yes, so hearts and keys. Very pretty. So, yeah, that's been my crafting. She did those last night. Yeah. And then I tried eating my chain. Yes. Somebody is seriously talking about me. My ear is itching so bad. I'm sorry. I know, right? <laughs> All right, so to jump to our whips, so again, my whips are my finishes too, because, so I came up with this plan, and I think it was after we did our last video, I think, don't quote me on that. I think it was before, but we hadn't came up with a concrete idea yet. Maybe that's what it was. So anyway, so as most of you know, I turned 50 in April, and I have watched a, a few other stitchers kind of come up with goals for their birthdays and whatnot, and so... When I decided to do doing? this, I was at 87 whips, or 86, 87, 87 whips. There's an odd number. So I figured that by my birthday, I want to get my whip count down to 50. So basically 50 by 50. And which meant that I had 37 whips that I needed to get done. So I needed to finish a whip every four days, which was going along very well until everything happened. Um, when we lost stuff and my heart was not into stitching and I turned my focus into the thing that I do when I'm exceptionally sad and that is quilting because that's my go-to. As much as I love my stitching, my, my quilting is my go-to when I'm sad. So I have kind of fallen off of the wagon with sticking with that. Um, but before that, I had finished um, four whips and my stitching this month has been exceptionally sporadic. I have done my stitching every day like I always do. Um, and I'm getting ready to show you that. But I have not put a whole lot into anything else since basically that last week of October, first week of November. So I've been keeping true to my leaf every day. And I just caught up through last night. You can see I started on the December branch, but I haven't got it finished. Um, and then my leaf last night, you can see, was very green right here because our high yesterday was 30, 39, 30, 38, 36. I don't know. I don't know. It, it was cold 30s. because it snowed. Mm -hmm. The joys of living at 7,000 mm -hmm. feet in Colorado. So anyway, um, <clears throat> obviously it won't be finished when we come to you the next time because hopefully we can do a video right after she gets home for Christmas vacation. But I still want to personalize it with our town name, and obviously Colorado, and then the year 2021, or something along those lines. I think I'm going to do that in green to give the grass look. I um, like that idea. I had made up my mind that I was going to... So this is um, Stitch and Mommy. Sarah has these um, patterns on her Etsy page. She's a great selection. She came out with a butterfly one. When did she come out with that? Was it the summer, this fall? It was before I left. Yeah, so anyway, she um, has a really neat butterfly one that I, the plan was, this is, that was what I was going to do for 22. Um, but I'm kind of on the fence. Stop that. <laughs> you started first this time. I'm, I'm kind of on the fence now if I'm going to do a temperature tree for next year. The benefit of, or a temperature log, the benefit of that is that it kept me true to stitching every single day, even if it was just a few stitches. But, I don't know. I'm... Life seems I to haven't have, decided yet. Life seems to have a lot of different priorities now that things have happened with football and life in general. And for both of us. For both of us. I don't know. 
I haven't decided yet. I know that I've kept true to not starting anything new, <coughs> excuse me, for the year. And we are on, what is the 25th of November, so I feel like I've done really well. And I don't foresee changing that because I'm very proud of being able to say I had no new starts for 21. Um, and I may even keep true to that going up to my birthday because I want to get to the 50 by 50. And also because um, I think I'm holding out for my birthday to start my B, yes. which I'm still going to start my, my B sampler yeah. for my birthday. I think so. I don't know. That could change, but it won't change before year end. Mm -mm. So, anyway. So, <clears throat> everything I'm going to show you guys has, like, it's gotten love, but since I got, went back, uh, after fall break, it's been pedal to the metal non-stop. So I worked on my mill hill, I think, two or three times. And um, that's where we're at. Ah. So I'm almost done with this side, and then I'll come back over and work on this side. So, yeah, so pretty. Mm -hmm. I love the way that pillow looks. I love this. I really want it done. Oh, yeah. So pretty. Very pretty. All right, so my next one, and I'm trying to do these in order of what I finished. So the first one that I got finished was early in October. And this is February. And it, what are these? Not heart and, are they heart and hand? No. No. Uh, cottage, cottage, country cottage and needlework. Yeah, I think that's right. Anyway, I have January and February done. I have a bunch done on October. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I've decided that I'm either a very slow stitcher, or there's just a lot of work in these little guys. Um, the latter of the two? Yeah. Um, so, yeah. But February's done, so at least I can put it in the... I know, right? I was happy. So, that was a whip and a... Because mm -hmm. actually I think I was working on it when we did our video. Yeah, you had done, I think, the house, and I think you had done the words or something like that. I think so. I can't remember. I've slept since then. It's been a while. Weird. So I worked on, so I took oh, Ruby. Oh, did you work on Ruby? Maybe. Ah. So I did take Ruby back with me, and it will go back with me when I go back after this break also. But this is where I'm at. It's so pretty. And I had found, I don't remember what color it was. I found myself a mistake that I had made in the last time I had worked on it. Oops. I don't know what I was doing. I think it was a miscounting error, or it was a... I ran out of thread error and forgot to finish off what I was doing. Oops. One of those two things, but it is fixed, and it's pretty, and I want to keep going. <laughs> That's why I am with so. the emerald. I pick it up, and then I don't want to put it back down. Okay. I divorced myself to put it down, because I was like, I'm not going to do any homework if I don't put this down. Right. Um, I can't remember which one was next, but I think it was this one. Yes. Um, so I started this one. <clears throat> you gave me your frog. I'm either trying to catch cold or Colorado allergies are catching up. I think it's Colorado allergies because, you know, moisture. So anyway, um, I think I started this one in, I want to say... It was July a mania start. August. No, it wasn't a mania start, I don't think. I can't remember. I'd have to look at my book. Anyway, this is Halloween Hanging, and it was in a World of Cross Stitch magazine. And this one was a really fun finish. And I think, so I had allowed myself four days. And then in that four days was a Wednesday, which was when we had team dinners. So I, I think I just put in a few stitches that day. But I think I ended up getting it done at 6, I think I told you. I think I finished it in 6. I think so. I can't remember, but um, yeah. But it was a lot of fun to stitch. And then it was even more fun to put all of the finished threads into the boxes that went along. I think that's just a... Hold that thought. Here. I'm busy. Oh. I'm holding his ring for him while he's shaving. Our lamp is seriously going for a dance over there. It's because he walked across the floor. It's very uneven. Sorry. Dramamine for everybody. 
So the most recent one that I've worked on was my Summer Quaker. And I am very proud of this one. Holy cow. Because I have my Look initials in this now. That is so awesome. So this is where we're at. We're almost done with this page over here, except for I won't put my year in until... Well, I'll do the 20... Is going to do 202, but then I won't put in the final number until I did finish it. I meant to finish it next year. That's a goal. Because I feel like I could do a page a month without I saw myself. somebody. Somebody we follow on Instagram. I can't remember who it was. They are almost on their down to the bottom page oh. on Autumn. It is so pretty. I cannot, I cannot wait, wait to start no. that next year. That, one, that color palette is oh my God, it's beautiful. gorgeous. I'm not sure what I'm going to do for my background yet, but... It is. It's beautiful. Well, all of them are pretty. Yeah. I'm, I'm not real keen on winter, but I, I think it's just because I'm not keen on white stuff. Yeah, that's you my love-hate relationship with it. Yeah. Uh, as much as I love the entire series, yeah. I find myself drifting towards this one. Yeah. First of all, because it's almost done, and second of all, because... This color palette is so vibrant in oh, it's color. Very stunning. Very pretty. So, and this will come back with me. Um, I really want to get it done. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Um, okay, I think I can't remember which one was next. Anyway, uh, this one was, was next. this one. Anyway, so the next one that I finished was leaves. Are you ready? Okay. He's back. He doesn't leave his ring on the sink when he shaves, so I hold it. So anyway, this was leaves, and I can't remember, it's, so the DMC Variegations, you know, you can buy the package of, what is there, $16, I think, or whatever. Anyway, they have the free patterns inside with the threads. Well, this was one, I have two of them, and this was one of them. Um, and the other one just has a very few, but it's in that list of 37 that I wanted to get finished, which is now down to 33. Um, but I love these colors and what I think I'm going to do is it's small what do we say five five and a quarter I think so finished oh, it's square yeah um I'm going to frame both of these and I think I'm going to put them you know like one here and one diagonal yeah I think know. I think I'm going to put them in our bathroom I think that'd be, oh, really that'd be fun well I was going to put them in the laundry room but I actually found oh I forgot sorry about this where in the laundry room would you put so them I don't know well the same place that I'm going to put this one. So I found in one of the World of Cross Stitching magazines this awesome clothesline Scotty Terrier clothes that I want to start next year because it needs to be in our laundry room. In what universe is the plant going to scoot over and the wall is going to magically so grow? There's one, two, three. Nine, there's nine plants in our little tiny laundry room because oxygen. I'm we a, live in a jungle. Kind of a weird. I like plants. I'm obsessed with plants. There's nothing wrong with that. Hey, oxygen. Okay. All right, your turn. All right, so I've been working faithfully on this She's one. She's so pretty. I absolutely adore this project. So. I think you just like the squirrel. I don't know. I feel like it's kind of me. Um, but it's You Brought Me Love. The way she gets distracted by shiny things. This is where I'm at with that. <laughs> so I'm almost done with her face and her neck. And then I will go back up and finish her hair. And I don't actually stitch her eyes. I actually use beads for her eyes. Or no, actually I think they're back stitching a bead. Actually, I think it looks like they took two or three strands and went under it to give the eyelash look. Oh, I bet so. That's what it looks like. I haven't like looked at me. the destruction but, uh, page. That's what it looks like. They split the um, back stitch and the straight stitch from each other. So I have one page of just straight cross stitch, and then I have another page of just back stitch. And you show lace on for her dress? I is do. That... I have everything in there. How fun is that? Yeah, I so the I have the ribbon for this and then I have a little heart that will go down here. I love gorgeous girls. So so pretty. Yep, that's where I was so at. So pretty. So pretty. Alright. So my last finish and I don't remember when this one was. It was in October. These were all in October that I finished them. Um was my primrose egg. This one was so much fun. I and love I've, those. I still have... Um, well, it's lower than it usually is. I still have 
the daffodil and primrose. No, this is the primrose. Oh yeah, the pansy. Pansy. Pansy is the other one I have to finish, and those two are on the fifty by fifty list too. So, and I think I'm going to finish these up into little hangings, like you know, stuff them, make them into hangings. Yeah. Um, they'll be a little bit big, but I think I'm going to get them done to finish for our holiday tree for Easter. We can put them on top and then, like, stagger them down. That or set them around the tree. Let's say on the like, base. Make sure Luna and Dobby can't get a hold yeah. of them. Haven't we learned that with our pumpkins? We're not going to go there. Okay. That's our honor. So this is the story of the frog. I haven't touched mine. I can't even tell you that. So, I, on mine. I got prickly out earlier in the month. And I'm like, okay. And I'm anarchy about against backstitch, I guess. I don't know why I'm doing this. But prickly came out. And also, this is because I apparently can't get all my threads put together. But, I'm going to get this mess with prickly thing too. So, I started her, which is this little girl right here. Point. Right here. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to get this done in a night. I frogged five different times that night. What's wrong with you? I don't know. I can't count, I guess. Which one's this one? This mm -hmm. one. Okay. And it, it continued. So that night, I'm like, okay, I, I'm done. So I put it down. I went went to bed, did my whole thing. The next, well, it was two nights later, I pulled it out again and worked on it. Frogged again. Look at me. She was at college and she's doing all this. I can't read anything for this one. <laughs> and there was no distraction. I mean, I had something playing on my computer, but I really wasn't paying attention to it. It was something that I could... I knew what the plot was of whatever was playing. I w wasn't distracted by something. I don't know why I was like this. So did you get it fixed? I fudged it. The flower is a stitch too. Um, there's a stitch down here that isn't supposed to be there. Your petals aren't right. Yeah, they are. It's stretched. Oh, okay. It looks darker than mine does. I haven't worked on mine forever. Not since you were I born. think they're the same color. It just seems like it. And my fabric. And then she different. realized that she was missing threads. Missing so three. So you'll love this. So I sent them to her on the 25th so of mad about that. In the October. Because that's when she realized she was missing one color. Well, no, you sent the one letter on the 25th, and then the other one, I think, on, like, the 26th or something. Yeah. Anyway, it was almost two weeks. The one took three weeks. For a letter. To send to me. <clears throat> she could have ordered it and had it grub hubbed or um, gashed or whatever. I use Instacart for my groceries to get yogurt, and they what now is? use Michael's. I could have went She's going to be broke before there. January's done. I haven't bought anything for myself recently. I just bought myself. Wait, no. I bought Dalton the power socket. Never mind. Can't Michaels point. would be dangerous for me. Good thing they don't sell diamond pendants. Oh. Yeah, but they sell everything else wonderful. Good thing they don't sell fabric by the yard. I'd be screwed. Alright, so where are we at? Uh, Hall, I believe. Hall. So, these came in the mail. By the way, did you ever email her? He said not to since they were okay. I don't see the point. I would be better off banging my head against a wall. Okay. So apparently Hay had a sale. I actually saw this on what page did I tell you I saw it on? The Hay page. No, it was on Facebook. Oh, it wasn't? I don't know. Maybe it was on Instagram. It was on Facebook. Anyway, that Hay had a sale. And there are two patterns, especially one that I wanted really, really bad. Um this one was actually shown. There's two different stitches that we follow. Um, Stitch and Mommy and Young Tina Stitches. That um, They're both working on this one. Actually, did I see that Young Tina, Young Tina finished, finished hers? hers? Yes. Yeah. Um, I haven't watched her video, so I don't know. But I know I saw that, it on Instagram. Did you see it on Instagram? Yeah. Okay. And I think I might have seen it on Stacey's page also. Oh, okay. So anyway, um, but as you guys know, my birthday is in April. And I absolutely fell in love with this one. And so... I told her about it. Well, apparently somebody went shopping. So she got me the April Fairy, <coughs> which there's a really good possibility she's going to get started next year. We'll see. 
Um, and then this one because we all know my love of horses. What is he called? Renee Cherokee Blue. Blue. So. And for those of you that don't know, um, my lineage does consist of Cherokee and Choctaw. So. That explains our hot headedness. I thought that was because we were German and British. I say it's all. And plus, you're an Aries and I'm half Leo. And we're just screwed. <laughs> so, what did you get? Alright, so. The first this one, one I've been eyeing this one. I might have to take it out of the packaging. I don't think you can try. So this one's the Pumpkin Queen. Who and she buy? Artwork by oh. that. Brown. Amy Brown. Amy Brown. Thank you. So this is her. Beautiful. And I've been eyeing. Like, I was off and on. Like, do I really want to do this? Because shh, there's a lot of pages to this thing. It's massive. When am I ever going to get these done? I don't know. Um, so, I got that one. And there was one where it didn't have the background. But I feel like for this one, because it is meant for Halloween, you need that spooky. And then this one is called Heart of the, Sto Ooh, the, Heart of the Storm. Beautiful. And, yeah. So pretty. First of all, I love owls. And then second of all, it's gorgeous. It's just beautiful. We're both pretty good size, aren't we? Uh, this one's 18 by 26 on 25 count. Mm -hmm. And I'm probably, this one's 25 by 30. Damn. I like the 20 and the 22 count. Mm -hmm. It's just easier for me to read it all. I'm really partial to 18 count. Yeah. But the 25 count, unless I do one over one, is just too much for my eyes. Yeah, I agree. And I'm only 20. That's too cheap. Got your bad eyes from your mother. All right, you get pretty. To I do have what pretty, and I don't have the other one because I need to get it fixed. Um, when I was flying, it the bend part actually broke. But um, a company that sells jewelry by bands um, had a sale on these, and the proceeds go to one of my favorite bands. So this it's just a coffin. Very Dracula. It is. Um, it's actually, he had it made after they did the cover on uh, Dracula. Oh, serious? Yeah. And oh, wow. so the band's Motionless in White. It's a metal band. And um, they're actually on tour right now, but all the, or a portion of the proceeds go to them. That's an awesome. So, yeah. Knights Templar almost. Yeah. It's very cool. <laughs> so. And then the other one was, oh, it's, Angel Wings, and it's part of, I think it's Eternally Yours, what that one is, Ghost Store Placement, I can't remember. Okay. Cool. Anyway, yeah. Awesome. All right, so I guess moving forward, um, I'm going to finish my, or continue, I shouldn't say finish, I'm going to, I'm going to say finish, continue on my 50 by 50 as soon as I get these quilts done. Um, I, my goal is to, so the two that she is going to show you, aside from the log cabin, my goal is to get six more of them made. Our banquet is the fifth, so I've got a lot, and I have to get them all quilted. So, I've got a lot to get done in a very short time. Um, what is wrong with you? I don't know. <laughs> I think they're having me tested, but it's not working. Um... Obviously, I want to get my quilts done. i got a couple things that I want to get done for the kids for Christmas. Um, I've got that. I don't know if I ever showed it to you guys, but I finished up. It's supposed to be a table runner that I'm going to finish it so she can use it for the top of her um, bookcase. bookcase in her room. I don't know if I showed it to him or not. Anyway, I want to get it quilted so she can have it for her. I need to employ her to make me some case. shirts because I realize that I don't have any See, sweaters. that was what it was supposed to have gotten started for her to have to have taken back to have this week. And I got my mom shoes. I'd much rather be making shirts than trying to make my clothes. Well aware. Yeah. Got me um, I need to catch up on my mail. I just got caught up on August mail two weeks ago. Yeah, no, I am severely behind. So, sorry, and everybody. <laughs> then my big thing, which, did we talk about this in our video? I don't think we did. I think it's already after our video. 
No, I still have it on Grandpa's birthday in August. Oh, right, you did. So, I had made up my mind that I my goal is to lose 100 pounds by my 50th birthday. Let's see, there's a correlation here. She can people, do it. People have midlife crisis. I have midlife goals. Kind of the same? Yeah. Kind of, yeah. So anyway, um, as of... What was the last day I weighed? Last Monday? Anyway, I'm at 27 pounds. And I started at the 26th of August. So I'm almost to 30. I figure I need to lose about 12 pounds a month. To make oh, it's it. a healthy amount, too. Um, haven't... I have been walking this month, but I haven't been swimming this month yet, um, just because of everything going on, and I just, I don't want to deal with people. This is, that's one of the ways that I deal with death, is that I just stay with my family, and I stay you with things that ourselves. are comfortable. I do, very much, but it's the way I deal. Um, but I'm sticking to it, I've been very good at watching my calories, which is hard, because I'm just... Well, or foodies, what we can we are. say? Um, but I've been watching my calories, and the big thing for me, which wasn't so much a diet thing, it was a health thing, because of my acid reflux, because of the weight, is eating breads. Now, I can make my bread, or make bread stuffs, and it doesn't phase me. But to eat, like to go out and eat a burger, or to go out and eat a sandwich, the bread just... We had a hamburger when we picked her up mm -hmm. from the airport, and... I was two bites in and I was ready to die. <clears throat> but I can make bread here at home and I'm fine. So be it preservatives, be it the difference in how it's made. So that has been a big thing for me is to stop my bread stuffs. Yes. Um, and my pop. I have cut down to, for a while I was still treating myself to a Dr. Pepper once a week. And I can't remember, but oh, I do too. So when, it's been two weeks ago. So I found peach, no, no, not peach, Pepsi. Oh, cream soda Pepsi. Either, it was when we went to state with Dalton. So it has been two weeks ago now, almost three. Um, I had uh, found a Pepsi cream soda at a gas station in Del Norte. When we were I found the, past. the C store in our union. Yeah. My KU has them. Those are good. But anyway, I've been doing better with my treats. So That was the first one I had had, and... A long time. Yeah. So, anyway, but those are goals for moving forward. How about you? I'm um, just finishing up school, so when I go back, I will be. Excuse you, I will return. Jinx girl. <laughs> she doesn't approve of her going home. Uh, hey, Let's nobody see. does. Let's see if blowing side out or not. Um, the pets disapprove. You have to stay home. Okay. Uh, stop it. Um, so when I go back, I'll basically be at, um, two weeks of actual school, and then I'll have stop week, and I'll have finals. Well, my finals are all on one day. <laughs> Heaven help me. Um, Some and coffee. <laughs> coffee and... I have a link that you guys can actually send her. Well, no, maybe it doesn't work anymore. So they, they sent out this link that you could send gifts to your students to receive during finals week. Oh, yeah? And it was like this, um, what did they call it? It wasn't comfort. Anyway, you, they'd send like food and popcorn and cocoa. <laughs> and It was all kinds of fun stuff. I'm like, eh, I'll just mail her a box. <laughs> I actually found out one of the coffee companies that I get my coffee from started selling cocoa. <laughs> and... I have refrained so far because they're like, I'll get on and they'll be in stock, so I'll put it in my cart. But then when I get back on after I get my paycheck, they're all sold out. I'm like, okay, I'm not supposed to have cocoa right now. <laughs> Plus, it involves buying milk and sour milk in my dorm. Anyway, squirrel. Maybe I am a squirrel. <laughs> See the pretty shiny thing? <laughs> um, but once I get back, I will do that. And then. I remember mentioning last video that I would be studying abroad. Mm -hmm. And for a little bit, it was like, yeah, this is for sure. And then some stuff changed regarding the current world that we live in. And they're like, well, maybe. And I'm sitting here thinking, okay, well, I thought that I didn't put any money towards this. And then 
Thursday? Was that when I had my... No, Monday. Monday. I had a Today's meeting. Today's Thursday, Goose. I, for some reason, I was thinking last Thursday. Because I didn't work last Thursday. I had an That's exam right. last Thursday. That's right. Um, I met with my professor that's going to be leading this, and he's like, yeah, this is all game, so now, um, January 8th, I will be going down to the islands and swimming on the reefs and stuff. She gets to do night dives to see bioluminescence. Mm -hmm. Is that the coolest thing? I get so to study it. all the different species of coral reef, and then rumor is, is that we basically will, like, create this idea of how to... Um, remove the bleached and basically do um, a transplant of a healthy coral versus a non-healthy coral. Cool as hell. So. I better get postcards. Yes, you will. <laughs> I already told her what I want for Christmas so that they can see it. So. Yep. Shopping we will be doing tomorrow or the next day. Whenever. Depends on Preston's work. Hey, stop it. Because, um, you know, snow is a thing in Colorado. So I think Apparently like Kansas only gets wind and freezing rain. I told you that when we moved down here. Anyway. So I think that that's it. Um, I don't have anything else, do you? I feel like there's something else, but... Yeah. I'm just working away. Working through everything going on. And yeah. This this fall has been tough. I'm, I'm really looking forward to 22 and... I'm, I'm looking forward to December. Not Christmas. I don't like Christmas, but I'm looking forward to a new month. Yeah, I agree. So, anyway. But I think that we will call it good. And we've irritated you guys long enough. We've been here for almost 40 minutes, so. It's the first we've only, only normally done 30. I know. I need to go sort our lunch so we can eat before we go and do our plans for the rest of the day. I got that much surprise. Yeah. All right, well, we will let you go, and we will wish you a very happy Thanksgiving. And as always, remember, be kind. Bye. Bye.